All right, so we're out here working on the LS. Um, got a couple broken studs on here from at some point. They either broke and fell off or not, but we're gonna get this exhaust manifold off before we get too far. Because if we can't get the studs out, we gotta get a new head because I'm not gonna have leaking exhaust manifolds. So I got some free all. Um, gonna get it all kind of sprayed up, make sure it comes loose. I don't wanna have to take out three studs. I only want to get these two that are broken, but make sure you stay till the end. I have a great piece of advice I want to share with you guys, but you got to listen to the end to find it. So I'm going to start getting these bolts off and uh, I'll let you know if I have broke more. All right. So we got two out of the four we had to get off, off so far. No problems. I had two more with the wrenches and they were just starting to slip. Um, didn't have snap on wrenches. Um, these are called Challenger by Produ USA. These are pretty nice wrenches. Um, they're not the snap on ones, but they're slipping off the head. So what I did is I, I grabbed one of Jimmy James garages snap on by his, re his recommendation. Um, and it's not the 12 point, but it has a lot better grip in there. And I grabbed my snap on ratchet that I bought and look at that. You hear that? Oop, I fell off. But it's grabbing it. So I only have one more to try to get, and this exhaust manifold's off. So that's why you buy the expensive tool sometimes, because it saves you a lot of time and frustration. I only broke two sockets trying to get one off, but the good news is it's a lifetime warranty, and I'll just go give it to the Snap-on truck. But so far... I'm using these uh, vice grips. Um, I'm gonna call these whale head vice grips because they look like a whale's head to me. That's not their name though. Uh, they are DeWitter vice grips. Um, patented in 1942 of April, it looks like. So I'm assuming these were probably Jimmy James Garage's uncles or dads or who knows. He probably stole them from Poppy and I'll probably steal them from him one day when he's not paying attention. It is loose. Um, hopefully we will not have to uh, use the welder method. So we only have one more to get. I'll check back in with you. All right, as I finish up here, I got one last stud to get off. I got all the spark plugs out. Um, I figured the stud doesn't come out without having to weld it. The head just broke off. It's old engines, 2002 Yukon, 250-ish thousand miles on it. Sometimes these bolts break. Um, heard a lot of <laughs> exhaust ticks over the years. Um, but I thought of a second tip why I was doing this. This is the second one I thought of. It's not the original tip, but make sure you get all your spark plugs and all your exhaust bolts out if you're going to take those off or planning on taking them off. Um, before you put the engine in the car, because look at I am right here doing this. This would be a pain in the butt. If you're leaning over the radiator and hanging on top of the engine trying to freaking get this off, especially if it's broken and you got to put a weld on it, now you're trying to weld inside the engine bay. Not ideal. So that's my second tip I thought of. And the first tip is don't spit in the wind because it'll blow back and hit in the face. Not a very good idea. Uh, I know some people do it, but just make sure don't spit in the wind. Spit against, you know, where the wind blowing so it blows away from you, not back towards you. So... Also, on these vice grips, Jimmy James told me he believes he got them when he got this drill press that's right there, you can see. Um, that's an old drill press, you know, it's not the big fanciest. So remember, you don't always have to buy the most expensive tools. Buy tools that work. That's an old drill press, it's proven, it works good. You can buy certain tools that are higher quality like the snap-on sockets the wrenches you know some of that stuff but a drill press most of them are you know unless you're like some professional doing a ton of drilling yeah buy the super expensive one but he bought that drill press he bought these vice grips 1942 um still working they got this one out and got that one started i'm using the small ones now but make sure you like and subscribe i'm also gonna give a shout out so jimmy james garage will be in the description but lunch was brought to you by Heights Butcher Shop today. My brother has a butcher shop and he uh, 
he dropped off some sausage links for us to have for lunch. So make sure you follow him on YouTube. He's doing a uh, new series that he started this week called Wiener Wednesday. He's coming up with new sausages to uh, experiment and try. He did uh, hot honey sausages this week, and they were bomb. So like I said, make sure you like, subscribe. It's free. Trying to hit a 1,000. Bye.